Hi everyone. So as some of you know, I started interpreting dreams last year and I've always had vivid dreams that I remember when I wake up. I can't even remember some of my childhood dreams, but I actually started writing them down and working through interpretations last year, February. And last year I had over 500 dreams. It's just been a flood of them. Throughout all of this time, I have been consistently asking the Lord for more interpretation, more wisdom and insight on how to interpret dreams because Genesis 40 verse 8 says that interpretations belong to God. So a couple of days ago, I asked that question before bed, which is something new that I'm doing in terms of just asking very specific questions before bed to see what or if God has anything to say about that question or matter through my dreams. So I had asked, please give me more insights and revelation on how to interpret dreams. And I got a dream which was interchanging the role of a teacher and a student. And it was basically saying that when we are in the role of a teacher, we operate in that role. And when we're in the role of a student, we operate in that role. So somehow I just got this meaning from the dream that I should pour out what I have been learning on dreams and please go back and check the five part series that I did last year about how God speaks to us in dreams, not only when we're sleeping, but also through our imagination, through daydreams. So this is not going to be an actual Sunday meds. For now, for the last Sunday of each month, I'm going to be doing a dream nugget. This is the first one, so we'll see how it goes. And hopefully I will increase in wisdom and insight when it comes to dream interpretation as I pour out and operate in a role more of a teacher than a student, we'll see. Today for our first dream nugget, I want to talk to us about colors in dreams. These are also colors that we see come up in the Bible. It can be colors that you see in visions. Sometimes we get prophecies and the person will say, oh, I see you wearing a purple robe or a gold crown on your head. These colors have meaning. And when we understand the meaning, then the prophecy or the vision or the dream or the scripture becomes more layered and richer and becomes more meaningful to us. So the more that we understand the details of God and how God speaks and how he thinks and the symbolism that he uses and why he uses it, then the closer we get to the heart and the mind of God. There are a few resources that I mainly use and I will put them in the description below. The main one is a video on YouTube from John Paul Jackson and there are a couple other websites that I use but I would encourage us in all of our dream interpretations in any form of interpretation or insight that we're gaining from spiritual matters to always make sure it lines up with the Bible and according to the Holy Spirit. God knows us more than anyone else. The colors and things that have special meaning to us, he knows them and so he might bring them up in a dream with that special meaning that is unique to you alone. So if you look these colors up you won't find that meaning but if it has special meaning to you then be open that the Lord is speaking to you in that way because over time the Lord builds up in us a dream dictionary where specific things over time has specific meaning to us perhaps there is a special flower that you like and it has a color so we won't find it on our website or any other resource but the Lord and you have that special relationship as a way of just drawing you closer to his love and showing you that he numbers the very hairs on your head and you're very special to him and he wants to have a very individual and unique relationship with each one of us so most of us would have learned in school that there are primary colors and secondary colors and sometimes there can be significance in what kind of color shows up in your dream. If it is a secondary color, look at the two colors that make that color. That can give you an added depth 
to your dream interpretation. Maybe the Lord is saying to you that he wants to combine these two primary colors in your life. For example, maybe he wants to combine your healing or maybe your gift of healing or the healing that you have received, often represented by the color blue, with your anointing, your calling, which is often represented by the color red, to give you purple, which is to ground you in your royal identity in Christ. Lastly, pay attention to the descriptive shade of the color in your dream. For example, blue comes up a lot, which can represent healing or communion and revelation with God because blue is the color of the sky, it's the interface between heaven and earth. But was it a light blue? Was it a sky blue? Was it a navy blue? Was it a deep blue? Was it a royal blue? Those descriptive words can also help us in our interpretation because if it is a navy blue, it might represent something more militant. And always remember that in our dreams, symbols can have a negative or a positive meaning depending on the emotion that we're feeling and how we respond to it in the dream. So in the case of blue, if blue was being worn by a friend and you have a positive response to that person, then it would have a positive meaning. But if blue is being worn by someone tracking you down and hunting you, wanting to harm you, then it would have a more negative meaning. And the references that I have listed in the description below, they tell you the positive and the negative meaning of those colors. So guys, thank you so much for continuing on this journey with me. We will continue these dream nuggets for the last Sunday of each month and even if you don't dream these symbols and this information about interpretation it can be used as you read the word of God just learning more about God and how he speaks and how he presents himself to us and I just pray that this will all draw us closer to the heart of our father and really grow in us the mind of Christ so be encouraged see you next week